Hello again, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. We've just introduced a new feature into Asset Manage, and that is user permissions. We've had many, many requests from customers for this feature, and is now in the 2015 edition of Asset Manage Standard. If you have a previous version, you can upgrade. I'll show you at the end of the video how to do that. Uh, to get started, as in previous versions of Asset Manage, everybody right now is an administrator. They can do anything you want. Now, to start defining users, uh, the administrator should be the one to select File, Manage Users from the main menu. You're going to see a list of current users, which obviously is zero to begin with. And we're going to first start, first of all, by adding the administrator as a user. So we click Add User. And as you can see here, Admin is checked and grayed out because the first user has to be admin Administrator. So we'll just create a username Admin. And you can see here the different permissions that can be assigned to different uh, users as we continue to add users. So we click Save, and now it's prompting us for our password. So type in, type in the password. The OK button will be enabled when both the password and confirmation are the same. Click OK, and we have a user. Now, let's start adding uh, additional users. So, uh, let's say we want to add a user that can only view data. Call it user viewer. Viewer is not an admin. View viewer cannot delete, cannot add, cannot add or edit. Actually, the only thing the user can do is view data. So, we can go ahead and pretty much delete all, all of these check marks. So once we've done this, we're going to log in again to the program as the viewer. So we click Save. You can uh, create a temporary password for the viewer who, when they log in, they can later change the password under the file menu. So we'll do that. We have two users defined, one an admin, one a viewer. Exit the program, and let's run it again. Now it's going to be asking us for a login because we have more we have more than zero users defined. So let's log in as the viewer. Now you'll notice the viewer you notice all the uh, buttons grayed out. The viewer can no longer back up data, add data, do much of anything at all except view the data. So can't even edit. So if I try to double click on this to edit, it's not going to work. Now the viewer needs to change their password at some point to get away from the temporary password assigned by the admin. So he's going to he or she's going to select File, Change Password. So there you go. Um, that's a brief overview of user permissions. Hopefully that will get you started. Now to upgrade, if you've got a previous version of Asset Manager you, and you're looking to add this feature, you can upgrade for a very reasonable cost. To do that, you can select File, I'm sorry, Help. Actually, the best way to do that, uh, I'm sorry, Help, Purchasing Information. And you'll notice here on the purchasing page, upgrade from a previous version, which will allow you to upgrade to Asset Manage 2015 Standard Edition. Thank you for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.